Okay, so today we're going to talk about using the Mixing Station app for Android with in-ear monitors on the Behringer X32. One major difference between the iPhone app and the Android app is that with the iPhone app you can only control an individual monitor mix. Whereas with the Android app, because it's developed by a third party, you can actually control many functions on the board, including the house mix. So for our purposes today, we just want to show you how to use the, um, the, the mix buses that, you can, that will allow you to adjust your individual in-ear mixes. We, don't, we actually don't want you to adjust the house mix during, during a live set. That, that could be, be bad. So we're going to start by connecting to the board. So I'll start my app right here. It's called Mixing Station. And you get this initial screen here where you have to put in your IP address and click Connect. Now our IP address at Cornerstone is 10.10.1.50. And it found the console. So I'll hit Connect again. And it's getting all the settings from the console. Okay, now first let me demonstrate how to adjust the overall volume for your um, individual mix bus. So right over here on the, on the right hand side of the screen, we're going to scroll down and we're going to select bus 1 through 8. And now you see we have our individual monitor mixes. We have the dedicated for the electric, the dedicated for the drum, and the shared for the piano and the shared for the acoustic. And now eventually when we get some more um, some more wiring run, we will have dedicated for everyone, but in the meantime we have these four um, and these other four are not used. So you can use your finger to adjust the actual volume. This is your overall mix. This makes everything louder in your in-ear your in -ear or everything quieter in your in-ear. But suppose you don't want to adjust everything. Suppose you just want to adjust one instrument in your mix. Suppose you want more, more drums or less piano or something like that. What we can do is called Sins on Fader. So I'm going to push the Sins on Fader button, which is right here on the right side. And now I'm going to tap the button right below it, and it's going to give me a menu. And then I'm going to select which monitor, bu which bus I want to adjust. So I'm going to select piano. And so then you have a blank screen. But what we do is we over here on the, on the right side, we're going to select the channel now that we want to adjust. So we'll look at group 1 through 8. And now you're adjusting these individual channels in your own mix bus. So you can, if you want more drum, you can move the drum up. If you want less piano, you can move the piano down. And there you are. And to get back, if you notice the Sins on Fader button is flashing, we can tap it again to turn off Sins on Fader. And what you're looking at now is the actual mix in the house. Now, we don't want you to adjust that. You should please make sure that you don't actually adjust the mix in the house because that, that could have some, some unusual consequences. And if you want to get back to your overall, you'll just slide the, the slider right here and select Mix Bus 1 through 8 or you could have 9 through 16 as well, but we're using 1 through 8, and you can adjust your overall. And there you are, it's pretty simple. All right, thanks.